And your dog's name is? Credit. Credit. Chill Coach, you know my name, is his registered name, and his call name is Credit. Good boy. How old is Credit? He's seven months. He's a puppy. So he has to get used to all this stuff because, uh, you know, he'll be well-traveled. Not only will he go to dog shows, but he'll compete in other things like obedience and agility and hunting. And so he'll be, he'll be traveling a lot, and he has to get used to uh, everything that goes with those different events on the road. This is his first competition? This is his first competition, yeah. His first uh, real road trip, traveling to a dog show, and uh, with other dogs in the van and staying in a motel and, you know, getting up early and getting in late and eating on the road. That's, that's real, real important. They have to learn that, you know, they have to handle it so that they continue to eat so they don't drop weight. Huh, huh, buddy? What is the competition today? The, um, the competition today is what we call breeder confirmation. Okay, and um, for Brittany's, we have a uh, recognized set of standards. And it talks about how tall the dog should be, you know, um, uh, what the head should be like, what the eye should be like, what the top line should be like, what the tail set should be like, what our coat should be like, all these different things. So when we go into a uh, ring with the judge, that judge is to know that standard and then take a look at this dog and say, well, according to that standard, do I think that this dog meets those standards? Then how does this dog compare to all the other dogs that are in that class? As you win your class, it's, it, you continue to go up. You go in to beat the other dogs from other classes, as well as females. Uh, so, you know, and eventually it comes down to what we call the best of breed, the very best dog in that judge's opinion at that show on this day. And then that, that dog that happens to win breed uh, goes against all the other sporting dogs that are here, you know, like Golden Retrievers and Irish Setters and Labrador Retrievers. And then that judge that happens to be in that ring will pick the four best sporting dogs um, out of the show uh, for this day. Wow. Yeah. And the number one out of that class will go into the best in show competition which again is the very best dog all over the entire competition for this day. It's it's a uh, it's an it's an emotional feeling, but then you know also sometimes it can be a little bittersweet because it's like well you know it's over now <laughs> you know so how do you feel when your dog loses? Um, you know I don't I really the only thing that I say to myself when my dog loses is how was the dog's performance? Was there anything that I needed to work on to improve? Like for example, puppies like this. You don't have any other choice but to come and pay your dues going into the ring and getting them used to it. So you have to be realistic about losing. Um, sometimes, you know, I, I have to admit, I walked out of the ring and say, you know, how, how did I lose to, you know, maybe, you know, some of the other animals that were in the ring at that time, you know. But again, it's the judge's opinion, that judge's opinion on that day.